Am I addicted to makeup? Highly. Did I need these? Absolutely not. The lighting in this corner versus my normal corner is like a whole new world. So today we're going to be talking about the new Maybelline Limited Edition Pinked Collection Baby Lips. I'm not going to lie, I am not normally part of the Baby Lips cult but it said limited edition so I felt like the world was gonna end if I didn't pick them up. Consumerism. Five baby lips is quite the challenge to hold in one hand. So there are five colors in the pinked collection. I'm going to go through and talk about them as we try them on for the first time together. It says there's eight hour moisture and there's shea butter vitamin E and it's supposed to be just a tinted moisturizing lip balm. There's 0.015 ounces of product in each baby lips. These retail between about three and five dollars depending on where you get them. I would definitely suggest Walmart because they retail for $2.97 there. I picked them up at Rite Aid for almost five dollars each which was a little ridiculous in my opinion for a chapstick. Rite Aid is having Maybelline buy one get one free right now so if you want to try these out you could also go that route. You could say root or route. So I'm just going to start with the lightest and then go to the darkest because that would be logical. Okay, so I've clearly taken off my lipstick and I'm going to start out with number 105 Blush Burst, which is upside down, which is the lightest shade in the collection. Smells just like generic candy. Let's apply this baby. Okay, so as you can see, there's virtually no color in this one. The color is very faint and does have a little bit of shimmer to it. Feels nice on the lips. I feel like this would just be a good everyday chapstick to like throw in your purse when you don't really want any kind of color on your lips. 115 and 110 look pretty similar to me. I can't really tell which one's lighter, so I'm gonna go with 110 to begin. Ooh, I like this one. This is pretty pigmented. As you can see, it's kind of a light bubblegum pink color. I'm actually a very large fan of this color. Next we're gonna do 115 Mad for Magenta. I think they all smell exactly the same. I've just concluded. Not what I was expecting. Not quite as pigmented as 110. It has a nice kind of natural pink color and I like the color of this one the best. Looks like a watermelon in a stick. Next we're going with 125 Very Berry. Oh, hells yeah. This is another one that's definitely on the more pigmented side. For a chapstick, these are kind of amazing. I might be a part of the cult. I feel like this one will be nice for the spring and summertime since it is a little bit more bright. Then the last one is 120 Rose Rush, which looks like this. I feel like this one has a different smell. This one kind of smells like sour generic candy. So here's Rose Rush. Um, I don't know. I think this one's kind of mediocre. It kind of looks like a few of the others. This is kind of between a fuchsia and the bubblegum pink one. I could probably go without this one in my life. So if you want to see swatches for the Baby Lips Pink Collection, you can click my blog post down below. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and it was helpful for you so I know. Comment down below with your all-time favorite baby lips because I may or may not be a part of the cult following now. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Maybe I need to take pictures of these before. Welcome to my life.